Welcome to the next video in our series on merino wool for travel, where we're gonna be talking about some ways to care for your merino wool, both on the road and at home. We'll talk about some specific soaps that you can use to keep your merino wool clean, fresh, and durable, and we'll discuss how to protect your merino wool from bugs, pests, and the elements in general. Let's jump in. So you just spent a lot of money on merino wool and now it's time to protect your investment. Just a quick disclaimer, this guide works for most merino wool garments. Make sure to check the tag on your individual garments to make sure that it works for you. It's always better to follow individual brands care instructions because they've created it and they know the ways to keep your merino wool lasting the longest. Across the board, we've found that you can wear a merino wool t-shirt about 10 to 20 times between a wash and underwear five to 10 times between washes. Of course, this is gonna be up to you and your general judgment around cleanliness. I know some people will wanna wash it after every single wear and others may go a lot longer than that. But we found that that's the general kind of average in the middle and it's safe. And as a quick pro tip, between wears, make sure to aerate your merino wool garments. It's a great way to freshen up your clothing without needing to wash it. So onto the washing, when you are traveling with merino wool, it's very easy just to wash it in your sink. If you are in a country where you don't speak the language, it can be a pain trying to go to the laundromat or somewhere and trying to communicate with somebody and explain to somebody to wash your clothing on delicate and not put it into a heated dryer. Definitely never put merino wool clothing into a heated dryer. It'll get all fuzzy and bad and it's just not good. So how to wash? Step one, start by turning your garment inside out. It helps maintain a fresh and clean look on the outside. Step two, fill up a sink with warm to lukewarm water. You can be a little bit warmer than cold, but you don't want it to be hot. Fill it up with your soap of choice. Make sure it's a pH neutral soap around seven. And we'll get into specific soaps in a second. Step three is to let the garment soak for about 15 minutes. You don't have to get in there and scrub and scrape unless you have some specific stains or gunk sticking to the garment itself. Step four, pull the garment out of the sink and lightly wring it out. You don't need to crank on it because remember merino wool is a delicate fabric, but just get rid of some of that excess water. And then when you're done with that, you do want to lay this flat to dry. So we recommend not putting it on a hanger. It's going to get all weirdly shaped and it's going to be heavy from the water and it's not the best for it. So if you can lay this flat to dry, that's definitely preferred to line drying or hanging it on a clothing hanger to dry. As a quick pro tip, you can roll that merino wool clothing article inside of a towel, whether it's from your hotel or Airbnb or wherever you're staying, or a microfiber towel that you are carrying with you as you're traveling, transfer some of that moisture to the towel, and then that merino wool garment is gonna dry a lot faster when you do lay it flat. When you're washing your merino wool, it is all about the suds, and there are many different kinds of soaps that you can choose from. So first we'll take a look at some multi-purpose soaps. So a Lush Shampoo Bar or Dr. Bronner's are both very great multi-purpose soaps that you can use on your body, your hair, uh, you can even use them for dishes and laundry in a pinch. So a lot of these multi-purpose soaps are great to travel with because they're versatile and multi-use. There are a bunch of different specialized soaps specifically designed for merino wool. And generally, these are gonna be the best to use to care for your garments. Again, that pH neutral, everyday multi-purpose soap is gonna be good when you're on the road. But maybe if you're really into taking care of your merino wool, you might wanna take some of this on the road with you as well. Or you can just use it at home when you return from your trip, depending on how long you're gonna be traveling. So the three products we took a look at here are Granger's Merino Wool Wash. And this is gonna have somewhat of a cedary smell, which again, that cedar is kinda anti-pest, anti-moth, which we're gonna get into in a second. But there's a benefit of that, it keeps those critters away. And then we've also got some Kookaburra Wash, which is in this travel size container, perfect for travel, it's two ounces, you can carry that on if you do want to. And there's also Euclid, which is lavender in scent, but they do have a bunch of different scents that go with it. All the soaps here are made specifically for merino wool, so that's gonna allow you to get the most mileage out of your garments if you do use these specialized soaps. If you don't have any of the soap with you on the road and you do wanna wash your garments, it's okay, just look for pH neutral soap. So something like dish soap, for instance, has a pH of around seven, and that's basically the same as water. It's a gentle soap, it's gonna be gentle on your clothing, 
Uh, just to show you the other side of that, bleach, for instance, has an 11 to 13 pH level. So that's gonna be way too rough on your garments. Definitely don't use that for merino wool. Try to stay somewhere a little bit more neutral around that seven pH level. If you prefer a powdered or traditional liquid laundry soap, you can use that on merino wool garments. It's not the best for it, but just make sure it's fully dissolved before you end up putting your merino wool garments into the water. It's a little less gentle than some of these other specific products for merino wool that we just mentioned. And as a quick pro tip, if you do have a stain on your merino wool garment, try to use some eucalyptus oil a little bit at a time to kind of gently rub it out. It can really help with stains. Bugs and pests love chomping away at merino wool and they can get in there and create a bunch of different little holes in your wool and make it degrade a lot faster and harder to wear. Luckily, there's a couple of preventative measures that you can take to help with bugs and pests for merino wool. If you're storing fur clothing for long periods of time, make sure to use a sealable plastic bag that will help keep the bugs out. Another good strategy is the use of cedar chips. Not only do they smell nice, but they also keep the pests away. So for instance, you could have a packing cube with a bunch of merino wool clothing inside of it and a cedar chip or two to help keep those pests out. And bonus, it keeps your clothing and your pack smelling fresh. This also works the same for lavender oil as well. And lastly, if you think you've already been invaded by bugs, take your merino wool, put it in a sealable plastic bag, and then pop it into the freezer for 24 to 48 hours. And hopefully that can kind of freeze everything and help everything become back to normal. Thanks for taking a look at this video within our merino wool guide for travel. If you do like what you see here, be sure to head over to packhacker.com for more of it and make sure to get on our newsletter to never miss an update. Thanks for taking a look. We'll see you in the next one.